Friends, today's strange story is about a man named Abraham Shakespeare. This man won a large amount of money, $30 million, in the lottery. But what happened to this man after winning the lottery shocked the world. Friends, this story is from the city of Tampa in the United States. Abraham was a poor man, but he was very honest and kind-hearted. To make a living, he did various jobs. After being laid off from a transport company, one of his friends hired him to work at his barber shop. This man's life was surrounded by many problems. His wife and children had also left him, which is why he was living with his mother in her home. Friends, in 2006, a friend advised him to buy a lottery ticket. This man was completely illiterate, so he had no understanding of such things. But on his friend's suggestion, he bought the lottery ticket and continued with his daily life. However, this man was unaware that his luck was about to change. A few days later, he received a call from the lottery office informing him that he had won a huge sum of money, $30 million. Abraham could not believe it. It felt like a dream to him, but it had actually happened. Overnight, this man became extremely wealthy. Friends, as soon as he received the prize money, he bought a luxurious house and also three expensive cars. The news of him becoming a billionaire spread like wildfire throughout the city of Tampa. Despite becoming so wealthy, this man still wanted to live a normal life. He even deposited a large sum of money in the bank for his two children. Friends, after becoming rich, people would come to him every day, sharing their problems and extracting thousands of dollars from him. Then one day, a woman named D.D. D. Moore came to his house. She told Abraham that she was a writer and wanted to write a book about his life. D.D. began to grow closer to Abraham. After some time, she told him that he was too simple and that people were taking advantage of him. She offered to manage his money for him if he wanted. Friends, this woman was very cunning, and a straightforward man like Abraham started to fall for her tricks. She began stealing his money with both hands, and no one even suspected it. But Abraham had no idea what was going to happen to him because of the 550 crore rupees he had won in the lottery. Friends, in April 2009, Abraham went to another city with this woman. He trusted her a lot, but he never returned to his hometown. He had gone missing. A few days later, this woman was seen in the city of Tampa, but there was no trace of Abraham. His mother was very worried about him, and she repeatedly asked the woman about him. The woman kept saying that Abraham would return soon and there was nothing to worry about. Friends, this was not the end of the story. The media had also started to follow this woman because Abraham was not an ordinary man. Seeing the seriousness of the situation, the police also got involved and started an investigation. The police were convinced that this woman was involved in Abraham's disappearance, but they had no evidence against her. The police devised a plan. They brought one of the woman's friends, named Greg Smith, on board. Greg had worked for Abraham. The police's plan was for Greg to gradually get the woman to confess the truth. Greg started meeting with her every other day so that she would fully trust him. One day, Greg casually asked the woman about Abraham's disappearance. She told him that he was in another city and that people were suspecting her for no reason. Friends, something strange happened here. Greg sent an SMS to Abraham's number asking, When are you coming home? Surprisingly, he received a reply saying, I'll be home soon. This shocked Greg because Abraham was completely illiterate and couldn't even reply to a text message. Greg realized that the woman was definitely hiding something, and the SMS hadn't been sent by Abraham. The next day, Greg confronted the woman and questioned her harshly about Abraham. The woman started to get nervous and began crying. Friends, what she revealed next shook Greg to his core. The woman confessed that Abraham was dead. She said that she had staged the entire drama at the behest of a gang so they could steal Abraham's money. She also told Greg that if she hadn't done it, the gang would have killed her son. The woman even offered Greg a bribe of $200,000 to testify that he had seen Abraham in another city. But Greg secretly recorded her entire confession and handed it over to the police. In November 2010, the police arrested the woman and began a rigorous interrogation. During the investigation, she confessed that Abraham had never left the city. In fact, she had shot him in April 2009 and buried him in her backyard. She also revealed that there was no gang involved and that the entire plan was her own, motivated by greed for money. Writing a book, becoming friends with Abraham, and managing his finances were all part of her scheme. She had killed him because she believed she would gain control over his money. The police found Abraham's body in the backyard of the woman's house. Friends, the case dragged on in court until 2012, and the woman was sentenced to life in prison. This story became very famous, and the woman is still serving her sentence in jail today. If you like this video, 
Be sure to like it. To watch more interesting videos like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get notifications for future videos. Take good care of yourself.